The Pharaoh is the heart of Egypt. The land is its body. And the people are its blood. One day you will rule Egypt, my son. Your armies will thunder across the boundless desert. And it shall tremble beneath them as it shook beneath the pounding feet of the countless men who toiled in the burning sun to build your grandfather's eternal resting place. He was Egypt, just as I am Egypt, and as you will be Egypt. His face is my face, and your face. His strength, our strength, for his blood runs in our veins. He labored a lifetime to build this monument, which now watches over us. And when it was complete, so too was his life complete. Yet even as my father was taken by Anubis, a new life came forth. And as your grandfather was bound in fine linen, so were you wrapped in swaddling clothes. And a new day dawned for Egypt. In time, each pharaoh must heed the call of Osiris and embark on a final journey to the immortal realm. For when the day of Pharaoh's reign is at an end, so the night of his eternal sleep begins. While he slumbers undisturbed, so shall Egypt endure. It is said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So may the story of a great nation begin with one dream. The Red Land has given birth to such a dream. Clans of nomads carry it in their heart, across the immeasurable desert and into the land of Egypt. Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. Here you'll participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. In an epic story that spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations. You must lead one family, generation by generation, from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory, through the dawn of civilization, to the establishment of a unique and powerful empire and beyond. Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago, along the banks of the Nile River in an area known as Nupt. Here, a small confederacy of clans struggles to eke out an existence in the harsh environment. With you at its head, your family leads this small settlement. Well done! By filling your people's bellies with nourishing food and protecting their homes from fire and collapse, you have helped this fledgling civilization take its first step on the long road of history. After many years and the passing of a generation, your family has resettled in the area of Inis in Upper Egypt. Here, a small band of local rulers is attempting to extend its influence over Lower Egypt and all lands along the River Nile, and to unite this realm under its own house with one supreme leader. 
Establishing Thinis as a thriving city like nothing ever seen before will prove the worthiness of the Thinite Confederacy and help them gain supremacy over Lower Egypt and the other factions vying for power. In time, this will mean providing the population with entertainment and building wonderful temples to worship the region's patron deity. To build a city this grand will require a substantial supply of cash. You'll find rich deposits of gold ore in Thinis, and harvesting them should be your first priority. Excellent! You have built the first true city in this unforgiving land, providing for your citizens' corporal and spiritual needs, and have helped the Thinite Confederacy unify the divided land. The Thinite nobles still struggle to unite the lands of the Nile under one supreme ruler. To aid them in their cause, it is hoped that you will endeavor to establish a thriving community at Perwajit, in the humid delta region of Lower Egypt, thus spreading their influence throughout the length of the sacred river. To support a population larger than that of a village, you must learn to use agriculture. Egyptian farmers have begun to exploit the rich fertile soil deposited by the annual inundation of the Nile River for growing crops. The Nile can be hazardous, however. Many dangers lurk along its banks and in its waters, such as deadly crocodiles, hippopotamuses, and malaria-carrying mosquitoes. Superb! Your own citizens are beginning to look to you as their caretaker, and neighboring cities also hail you as a provider in times of need. 